Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some Rasta pasta. It's a request from my Instagram followers. Um, stay tuned, enjoy. This is what's cooking for dinner. These are my ingredients. Oh, wrong. Well, yeah, it's French and English. These are my ingredients. Can you guess what's cooking for dinner? Mm -hmm. I will list in the description bar down below the complete recipe. However, these are my ingredients. I have uh, coconut oil, some hot pepper, you can use scotch bonnet. I have half of an onion. I have some walkers with jerk season, that's like two teaspoons, actually tablespoons. I have some green onions and there is two cups of penne pasta. I have, I have Pomerosa sauce mix and I have some whole black pepper and some pink Himalayan salt. I have green, yellow and red bell peppers. I have some garlic chopped i have mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese and i have some carrots it's one cup of carrot that i julienne so i pretty much did that myself and i have a cup of coconut milk and this is the grace coconut milk so these are my ingredients today for my rasta pasta stay tuned for the method i am actually boiling some water right now so I'm going to add my pasta to my boiling water. I uh, put a little salt in it. So I'm going to be boiling it with a little salt. I'm not going to do it tender. I'm going to do it al dente. It's not going to be that soft. So that's how my kids like it. And um, I'll just go back to the rest of my ingredients. And I'll start. So I'm gonna heat two tablespoons of my coconut oil in my pan. And I am going to use this to saute my onions and my garlic. Now that my oil is heated, I am going to saute my onions. Now I'll put this over medium heat because I have to turn my stove off it was too hot. So onion, garlic, and the bell peppers. Make sure you do this over medium heat. This is an option. If you want to or you don't, you can leave it out, but I like how scallions taste in it. I'm going to go ahead and add 
the carrots. One beautiful pot. seasoning. And now, after everything is combined, I'm going to go ahead and add my coconut milk. Make sure you stir this continuously so that it does not burn and it does not get stuck to the pot because it's coconut milk. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add, or actually I'm going to taste it to see if it has enough salt and then Add a little salt. Now that it starts to boil, I'm going to add my cheeses. Now, this is where you have to be extra careful as to stir continuously because it's going to get thick, right? And you don't want it to burn. I turned my stove off because I'm using an electric stove, so the surface is still going to stay hot. Mozzarella. Stir that in too. Now after my cheese is stirred in completely, I'm going to add my Parmarosa sauce mix. You can do it the opposite way. You can add the Parmarosa first and then the cheese, it doesn't matter as long as it's mixed out and it's nice and thick. I'm going to add my Parmarosa sauce mix. And stir it in. Now this is going to get it more thick. And in the meantime, my pasta is finished cooking. I'm going to drain it and have it ready. See how the sauce gets thick? My sauce is ready for my pasta and my pasta is drained and I pour some cold water on it 
going to add it and stir it in and combine it completely and voila that's my rasta pasta meal simple easy and quick is rasta pasta my way like I said as long as all your ingredients are nicely done and you add everything when it's supposed to doesn't matter how you like it if you like it spicy or not you can add additional pepper if you choose or jerk sauce my rasta pasta you can serve this up with any meat type I usually make jerk chicken with my rasta pasta but today not sure what it's gonna be yet but <laughs> um, think about it later hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share <laughs>